Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. And in this episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to take any Apple or Android device that you guys may have, any portable device, and turn it into a fully functional working either MCDU or FMC found in the Boeing 737 series or the Phoenix or Fly-By-Wire A320 series of aircraft. Stick around to find out how. Make sure if you guys can that you join us at Flight Sim Expo 2023. That's right, Overkill Simulations is going to be present this year, guys, at the Lone Star Museum in Houston, Texas. If you guys are interested in joining us there, be sure to check down the description below. There is a coupon code that can save you guys a bit of money uh, using my personal reference uh, to get you there. Again, that'll save you a bit of cash in your Flight Sim Expo 2023 experience. This is gonna be June 23rd through the 25th of 2023. Uh, again, in Houston, Texas, at the Lone Star Flight Museum. I went a few years ago in Las Vegas, and they are an absolute great time. There's some very, very informative and educational seminars to help better your flight simming experience, as well as a ton of developers of both hardware and software that you guys actually get to try out, essentially a try before you buy experience, as well as talking with the developers themselves and uh, finding out what the products are all about. So again, guys, it's gonna be Flight Sim Expo 2023 in Houston, Texas. I hope to see you guys all there. Don't forget to use my coupon code that you can find down in the description below. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides or simply interested in supporting the channel, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier two and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future guides that come along down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below and thank you to all of my current subscribers. All right, guys. So I've already talked about Sim, Simbox Control app before, and uh, it's an incredible application that really creates a nice immersive experience for controlling things like your autopilot, your radios, navigation, lights, etc. Right. But it has this latest release has made it possible to turn your cell phones, your iPads, your Kindles, your Android tablets like I have into fully functional MCDUs and FMCs, whether it be Boeing or the uh, A320, and that's both the Phoenix A320 as well as the fly-by-wire currently experimental version. We're going to talk more about that in a minute, but I mean fully functional, guys, as in everything that is on the display will also appear, and the response time is fantastic. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you guys how we do all this. Now, I'm sure most of you guys already know how to start something in administrative mode, but I'm going to display it just in case. So we're going to right-click on my app here. I'm gonna to go to more and run as administrator. This is required because essentially what it's going to do is create a virtual display. Now, it of course keeps popping up on a different monitor. So let me grab it and bring it up. And there it is, okay? The other thing I wanna show you guys is my current monitor configuration. Here's the current monitor layout, right? So what we're going to do here is as long as you are on the latest version, update doesn't have anything here, this is what we need. You see MSFS 2020 is connected. And the way that we verify that is you guys, if you ever can't connect, it's likely that this box is not checked. You need to turn it on inside the simula in simulator. Nice. Inside the simulator in order for it to work. So let's go back to the display so you guys can see this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to move over to my tablet. Okay. So we're on the tablet now. Let's make sure we're recording. We are indeed. Okay, so you guys can see I've got the Simbox Control app down there at the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And this is all done through Wi-Fi. You do have to be connected to your wireless network uh, with the same devices. I'm gonna connect to my primary desktop. And again, here's all the variants. Now with the A32NX, there's a difference. If we go with the development version, notice up at the top, there's nothing that says FMC, MCDU, nothing like that. So we're gonna change and we're gonna go back to the experimental. And now you can see the MCDU up there. Now, any devices you can do like this, but we're gonna go take this even a step further. And this is why we needed to make sure we were in administrative mode. Now, real quick, we're gonna go back to the homepage so I can show you guys. You also have, there's the Phoenix Airbus A320 and the PMDG. For example, if we go there, same thing. You can see the screen says not enabled. We're gonna deal with that, but a fully functional uh, FMC. So let's go back to the homepage change and we're gonna at the moment this only works on the experimental version of the fly-by-wire a320 so we're gonna click on that i'm gonna go to mcdu now 
watching the monitor configuration up there on the screen, watch what happens when I hit enable. And boom, we now have another monitor. Now it screwed up my monitor configuration, but we'll figure that out, don't worry about it. So there we go, we're gonna to go to MCDU. You can see now we have a black screen, check this out. I'm gonna move my mouse across four, eight, and five, and there's my mouse. So here's where we put this all together now. So I'm gonna set my tablet down for just a minute, bear with me. You guys can still see it, but I need to move some things around. Now we're gonna go back to the sim. I'm gonna go ahead and close my display settings here. Zoom on down on the MCDU. I'm gonna do a right alt, left click, and that's gonna pop out the MCDU screen now. Let me grab that. And now I'm gonna drag it over to the tablet. And there it is. Now it's chunky and clunky right now, guys, because the tablet is recording and it hates it. Now I need to do a little bit of fine refinement here and figuring out how to get everything quite the way I want it. You can see it's a little offset, but that's not the part I want to show. That's just me. I need to tweak it. I need to work on a couple of things as far as making it the way I like it. But check this out, guys. Here's where this gets cool. So now watch the response time and keep in mind there is a delay because the tablet is recording. Okay. It does not like to record. Okay, it's a, it's a pretty low powered tablet, honestly. But so let's go to our initial reference and let's set up our departure. So we're gonna go from KTUS uh, slash to KLAX. And I'm gonna drop that up in there. And again, the lag is strictly due uh, to uh, the recording. When I'm not recording on it, it actually works very, very well. Oh, I can't put KTSU. Let me explain that. K T U S. There we go. Two K L A X. Let's drop that where it goes. Go to return. Flight number American Airlines 4310. Cost index, we're gonna do 25. Cruise altitude, let's do flight level 360. And I'm just throwing random numbers in, by the way. And I can go over to flight plan. And actually, let's go over to our, what am I looking for here? That has been a while. Let's select our departure. And let's say we're departing from one one left. Let's use the burrow four. Kilo Bend is our transition. I mean, guys, this is so nice. I am literally just walking right through it, not having any issues at all. This is, this is so sweet. Let's go back to our flight plan for a second. Oh, I was already in there, idiot. <laughs> Let's go back to our flight plan as he's staring at the flight plan. Let's set in our arrival. And we're gonna want Let's do ILS 25 right. Let's come in on the Hollywood one. Oh, did they change it? Nope, there it is. There's a Hollywood one, and we're looking for Sivu as our transition. Flown this one a couple times, if you guys can't tell. Oh, I always hit the wrong direction. I don't know why I do that. And let's use Eastwood as our transition onto the star. And hit insert. And let's go through our legs. Make sure we don't have any discons. Everything looks good. There's the approach. And again, the, si the screen size, I just need to resize it. I just didn't want to waste you guys' time seeing that, but I want you guys to see everything else on how easy this is. Anyways, so <laughs> that's the long story short of this app. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. There isn't much more to say. A link to it will be found down in the description below, guys. It is a payware software, but this one just this app alone, this particular feature alone, in my personal opinion, makes this one a knock out of the park. I mean, it really shatters this one. 
um, and makes it very, very easy to do your MCDU and FMC configurations. Let me know what you guys think down below. It's certainly a heck of a lot cheaper in, than some of these simulator gear that can go upwards of $800. So uh, anyway, as always, guys, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.